Do you realize that um, flying fish are prey in the air and the sea? I do not. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. The more you know. All right, how's it going guys? This is Giuseppe with Low Light Innovations. Today we're going to show you how to replace your rear bridge with a new reinforced bridge. Um, you guys want it, so we're gonna deliver. So we'll go over the materials that we have. Uh, we have a little tool that we're gonna be utilizing to hold in the rear nuts inside the arms. You're gonna have a T10. I also have lubrication just for the washers on the hinges but that's just a little maintenance you can do for your device. In the reinforced bridge kit, it's gonna come with your bridge. Now, I'm just gonna make a point to say that this is gonna be a thicker bridge, and we also did make the holes larger, so if you want to attach your bungee systems to it, you can. It also is gonna come with a tool that we're gonna be just providing. It just holds the retaining nut on the rear in place when you're screwing the bridge assembly back together. You're gonna to need a T10, and I also have some lubricant just because I'm going to re-lubricate the washers when I'm assembling. So first, you take your device, you unscrew the four rear bridge screws with your T10. and you're just gonna put this off to the side. Next, you have your left and the right side. This is gonna be a left-hand thread, so we're just going to work it the other direction. It's not gonna be lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, kids. And we're gonna put that bridge off to the side. Then, this is gonna be a standard thread. By the way, still the same T10 driver. Make sure you do not mix up the two screws. Put this off to the side. So now when you're looking at the rear bridge, there's only one thing you're gonna to wanna to do is these washers right here. You're gonna to wanna to take them and swap them in place. So I'm just going to add a little lubricant right here, in the inside portion. I recommend this. And you can swap them. And you don't need that. And that's pretty much that. So. Flop it and reverse the entire process. Now this is where the tool comes in. If you notice this nut right here, wants to work itself out. But take this, jimmy this right in there. Ain't going anywhere. Now you can put your screw in and tighten. Might be a little tight. We are going to make a lot better on that one. Now at this point, I do recommend, seeing as you're already having the device opened up, you could do all the maintenance stuff that you wanna do and one of our other previous videos that we showed. Take a device, slap that back together. And screw everything in. Again, don't over torque. All right, 
And that is how you change the rear bridge to the new reinforced bridge for the MH1. Now Mal Brown cow, now Mal. <laughs>